Hey guys, what's up? It's Presley and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm so excited because I'm going to be showing you guys how to build your perfect summer wardrobe. Building like the perfect wardrobe is really hard, honestly, but you do not need a lot of things to make a lot of outfits. What you need is just some staple pieces that you can use multiple ways. And that's sometimes tricky to find, but that's why I'm here and I'm going to help you guys. So before we get started, do not forget to like, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications so you get notified every time I post a brand new video. And don't forget to go follow me on all my social media platforms. They're all Presley. So let's get started. So first things first, we're going to start off with the basics. And this is not just for a summer wardrobe. These are just some staples that I think you should have in your closet at all times. Starting off with a good pair of jeans. You need a pair of jeans that like you love with your whole heart. I know it seems a little extreme, but it's true. It took me a really long time to find the right jeans for me. Um, and they kind of change all the time as like the different trends come along and different styles. But right now, these are like my holy grail jeans. I think I wear these probably five days a week. Like, it's really bad. I have them in a light denim and I have them in a darker denim. I prefer the dark denim just because it doesn't have any rips or anything, but both are still super cute. So these are what the jeans look like. They're the Levi's Baggy Dad jeans. And I actually got them in a 28. I'm usually a 26, but I sized up to make them baggier and more low mid-rise just because that's what I'm into right now. I used to be into high, like super high-waisted jeans, but not anymore. I like, like the baggy fit, more comfortable and everything. You definitely need a staple pair of jeans that you can wear with anything. That's the first thing. The next thing you need, staying on the topic of pants, you need a good pair of jean shorts, especially for summer. I have two right here. I got these two recently because I hated all my jean shorts. So the first one I have are these. These are the Levi's, Levi's 501s. Again, I size up. These are a size 29. Again, I'm usually a 26, so I did three sizes for these. I don't really know why, but they fit really good. I got them at Urban Outfitters, but they're the Levi's 501. Definitely would recommend. 501s are always so good for jeans and jean shorts. And these I just got the other day and I'm obsessed. They're actually like jorts I guess they're like a longer pair of jean shorts and when I tell you I'm in love with this like cut of jeans Like I love the long jean short trend right now If I would have told that to myself two years ago I would have thought I was insane because I used to love like the super short jean shorts, but these are so cute These are from Aritzia and these are a size 29 again I sized up and I'm really glad I did because they're just super baggy and low rise and they fit a lot better I think if they were high waist and like tight I wouldn't like them as much so definitely if you're gonna do like the jort trend would definitely recommend sizing up and making them a little bit baggier so these are my staple jean shorts this summer I got a dark denim and a light denim short and long so definitely perfect to have in your closet I'm gonna try everything on for you guys once I go through all of the clothes and show you how you can make multiple outfits with just simple things staying on the topic of basics we're gonna go into shirts you need a black and a white tube top especially for summer this is probably my favorite tube top. It's from Aritzia. I believe it's like the contour top. I don't know if that's right, but it is so good, so flattering. I have it in about three or four colors now, and I will be getting all of them because I wear them all the time. My default outfit is literally this tube top with jean shorts, and it never fails me. So I have it in black and white, but the white tube top I have here is another one of my favorites. This is more of like a cotton material. It's a little bit looser. This one's from Free People, and it's super cute. It has like a lining on the inside, so it's not see-through or anything, but I I didn't have tube tops, like just plain tube tops until like this year. And I don't know what I was doing because, or what I was wearing because I wear these literally every single day. So if you do not have a black and a white tube top in your closet, you need it, trust me. Even if you don't think you do, you do. Another thing you also need is just a black and a white tank top or just like top in general so that you can just throw on with anything. I have this white tank top from John Gao. I believe I got this at PacSun. It's like more of a loose fitting tank top and you can literally wear it with anything. It's perfect to have in your closet. It. And then this black one I have is a little bit more fun, I guess. But it's from Cotton On. So this is what it looks like from the front. And the back is open. These tops are super trendy right now. And I really love it. I don't love this in the back, the strap. So I might cut that off. But um, yeah, it's a super fun little basic top to have with a little bit of spice with the open back. And again, you can just throw this on with jean shorts or jeans or anything. So definitely recommend having black and a white tube top and the black and a white tank top. Our last two basics I'm going to show you guys are... A plain crew neck, okay? This is my plain crew neck. This is from Brandy Melville. It's just like a beige crew neck and I can literally wear this anywhere with anything. It matches everything. So you don't have to worry about like not having a sweatshirt. And this is just something that you can just like grab on your way out the door, bring it to the beach, put it over a bikini. If you get a little cold and chilly, again, just bring it to put on with your jean shorts or even over a dress. It's so cute. I love like an oversized crew neck with a dress underneath. It's such a cute look, especially for summer. So I definitely 
definitely recommend getting a good, if you prefer oversized, I do, oversized crew neck. And definitely crew neck over hoodie, in my opinion, but again, that's up to you. And this one also has pockets, so that's a plus. And our last, like, basic, basic that you need is a white dress. Just like a white, plain, summery, flowy dress. Because you can wear this to so many different things. You can dress it up with some heels, or you can dress it down with some sneakers. It just is a really good staple to have. This one's from Urban Outfitters. It's so cute. I have multiple white dresses, but I really like this one. It's super comfy and just like really great to throw on with anything. So those are my basics. We have some more clothes to go through, but before we do that, I'm gonna show you how you can make so many outfits with just those basics that I showed you, and then we'll move on to the other more fun stuff. Okay guys, so here is the first outfit. Let me back up so you can see. These are my jorts and the white tube top. This is such a cute outfit, it's so plain and simple, but literally this is like the perfect skeleton for any outfit. You can spice it up with some accessories, some fun pair of shoes, or even like a little jacket or something, which I'm gonna show you right now. Another staple you need in your closet, in my opinion, is a button-up. This is mine. It's a little white and blue striped button-up from Brandy Melville. You can have a plain white one, which I definitely definitely think is a staple, just like a white one in general, good for any outfit. Or just like beige one, a black one, a colorful one, anything. But a button up is definitely a must have. So you can throw on this cute button up with this outfit if it's a little bit more chilly outside. It's like a white pair of shoes. I think this is super cute. So another way to spice up this outfit is with a button up. Again, you can wear these shorts with your black tube top. You can wear it with your black tank top. You can wear it with your white tank top. And you can switch out the shorts. You can wear the jeans. You can wear the other shorts or anything. So that's just like almost seven or eight different outfits in itself, which is a lot. That's why when I shop, I'd rather have a closet full of basics that I can wear so many different ways rather than just like a closet full of statement pieces that you can really only wear like one way. Now that we've got all of the basics covered, let's move on to the more exciting things. Another thing that I definitely think you need in your closet is a cute little graphic baby tee. This one again is from Brandy Melville. Or no, I'm sorry, this is from John Gal, and I got it at PacSun. I promise I shop other places, but all these places just have really good basics. So this is super cute to throw on, again, with jean shorts or anything. Put it on for you guys. So here you go, another really cute outfit. This is why I like to have my shorts a little bit more low-waisted because I feel like if these were tighter and higher, it just wouldn't look as good. But that's again your preference. But I really like the way that the t-shirt like sits right where the shorts start. This is another super cute outfit. Another thing you need in your closet is just a plain colored baby tee. This one I have is from White Fox. It's brown and it's a little more tight fitted, which I really like to have like the option of something more loose and something more tight. I'm gonna put this one on for you guys and I'm gonna change up my shorts so you can see what it looks like. All right guys, so here is the next outfit on. These are my 501 Levi's. As you can see, they're a little bit more short and a little bit more high-waisted and they're super cute. And this is the top on it is so cute i love it so much again it's from white fox but i think it's super important to just have like a cute little tight fitted baby tee any color honestly another thing i think you need in your closet is a plain oversized I didn't have one for the longest time. I actually don't know how this one ended up in my closet. I've been with my friends. So I'm not too sure. But I'm so glad that it ended up in my wardrobe because I wear it all the time now. As you can see, it's literally just a plain, like off-white colored tee. You can wear this so many different ways. I have a t-shirt on underneath it still. This is so good just to have. To just like throw on with some shorts. I think this would look super cute with the jorts because they're a little bit longer. Um, but this is super important to have, like, if you're going to the beach. Again, you can just throw this on over your bathing suit and go. Nothing crazy, but definitely good to have like this staple more oversized t-shirt now moving into some more fun things i think it's super important to have like a fun like summery tube top this one i have is from cider and i literally love it it just like is perfect for summer and it's just so cute something more fun like this isn't really like too much of a statement piece but it is in a way but you can wear it under so many things you can wear it under overalls with jeans jean shorts with a skirt you can just wear it so many different ways i think that it's super cute and it's super comfy and perfect for summer and i also think you want to have like a bright colored tank top that's a little bit more fun this this one I have is actually from Amazon and it is so cute. It's just like pink, I would call it like a baby doll pink top. It kind of has like the cinching in the middle and then on the side, it like opens up and it's super cute. I actually wanna try this on for you guys because I just want you guys to see how cute it is and I wanna put it on with the jeans so you guys can see my all time favorite pair of jeans. All right guys, so here's the tank top on with the jeans. As you can see, the jeans are super baggy and low rise and I just love them so much. I think that they're so cute and they really work with everything. Again, wear this top like 
stops and where the jeans start is just like the perfect match and i really love this outfit i actually wore it yesterday and i think it's so cute but yeah this top is super comfy and perfect for summer they have so many different colors on amazon so you can go and pick your faves yeah i think it's a super fun top to have for summer and you definitely need like a staple bright colored tank top in your closet the next couple things are just some fun pieces that i think are good to have in your wardrobe and that's like a comfy pair of just pants not jeans but not sweats something that's a little bit more dressed up than sweatpants but still really comfortable so i have these like black pants from urban outfitters they're size small and they have this like really fun texture to them i don't think they really you can really see it on camera but they're super comfy and i'm definitely going to be wearing these like over my swimsuits this summer because you know sometimes you go have a beach day and it's a little bit chilly you can wear these pants or you can wear them with like a really cute top and some sneakers and have like a full outfit to like go to dinner or something on vacation like it's just like really good to have like a loose pair of pants that are still really comfy but nice to the top and then something that I think is super fun to have in your closet is a pair of jean shorts that aren't blue. So I actually haven't worn these yet. They're from Princess Polly. The tags are still on. But they're these like green crossover denim shorts. And I think that they're super cute. Now, I don't know how much use I'm going to get out of green shorts. So it's definitely not like a staple that you need to have in your closet. But I think it's something that's super fun to have in your wardrobe if you can have it. And that's just like something that's a little bit different than jean shorts. But they're still really cute. I would definitely recommend getting either something that can go with everything. Like maybe not like pink or something because you you can only wear those with so many different things maybe like a black a green or a brown or beige those are like the main colors so these are the ones that i got from princess polly i really like the crossover i think that it's something that's super fun moving away from tops and pants let's move on to dresses there's dresses and there's one other thing in here something that i think that is super important to have in your closet and i didn't realize this until this year is a midi dress i used to be the biggest hater of like long dresses i don't know why but i've come to love them recently especially this one this is my favorite right now um it's from windsor it's this beautiful like midi floral dress and i think that this is such a good piece to have in your closet for summer or any just like midi dress in general i feel like it's really good for like i don't know once you're out in the sun all day and you want to go and get dressed up you can put on a nice midi dress it just feels very summery and vacation -y, if that's a word so i really like it and it has this like little tie in the back so that's definitely something that is a staple i think for me personally is a midi dress like a flowy one nothing crazy now i'm gonna try these on for you guys but i just want to talk through them first another thing that i think is super important dress wise is I guess this, you would call it like a tennis dress maybe this one from free people specifically is probably a the most comfy dress I've ever put on in my entire life but it's just so cute and it's like a really comfortable dress it comes with like onesie built in so it has shorts so you're not worried about like the wind blowing your dress up or something so yeah I've been wearing this to Disney it's like the perfect outfit for that or if you're just gonna go on like a little walk or honestly anything but this is so good to have in your closet it's like a dress this is like very specific but a dress with like built in like shorts or something underneath that you can wear just like out and about without feeling too dressed up or too uncomfortable i think that's super important so if you guys can i would definitely recommend this free people like dress it is so good i think that it will look good on anyone and i just think it's just like the perfect dress to have now my last item that i think you should have in your summer closet is a pair of overalls now mine again are from free people if you couldn't tell i like love free people um i have these black ones i definitely would recommend getting black or blue as like a staple pair i have both but i've really been into the black one recently they're just so cute i got them in a size small um i thought i was gonna want a medium but a medium was way too big so definitely recommend trying on your overalls um just because they all fit differently having overalls in my closet has been something that's been so helpful because i've worn them with so many different things i've worn them over a bikini to go to the beach i've worn them with a tank top i've worn them in like the colder like fall seasons with a long sleeve i've worn them with a sweatshirt underneath if you have like a big enough pair so yeah they're really just like useful to have and you can wear them so many different ways and make so many different outfits with them you can probably wear these overalls with every single top i showed you guys in this video and it would look so cute so that's like my summer wardrobe spiel um, i'm gonna try on these last couple of dresses for you guys because i feel like you need to see them because they're just so cute all right guys so i really want to try on this dress for you guys so you can see what it looks like so if you guys know like the iconic free people onesies that everybody's been wearing they basically turn that into a dress and it is so cute it has pockets again it has built-in shorts so it's like super cute and super comfy and it's just like perfect for summer i just think that it's the perfect dress to just have and throw on with anything and like i was saying earlier with a sweatshirt and a dress i'm gonna show you what i mean so i'm gonna throw on my plain crew neck 
Now this might look a little odd to you guys, but I think it's super cute when you're wearing like sneakers and stuff. You just have like a cute little sweatshirt over your dress. I just think that it's so fun and just like super cute, but it doesn't like look weird because there's not like a bunch of designs or different colors in your sweatshirt. I feel like if there was, it wouldn't look as good. So that's why it's important to have a super basic sweatshirt in your closet. And also with this dress, you can like honestly tuck up the skirt into the sweatshirt and now you're just wearing like <laughs> shorts and a sweatshirt. It's just like you can wear it multiple ways and I think that that's so cool. So yeah, I hope this video helped you guys with our summer wardrobe checklist. Um, obviously, you do not need any of these things. This is just my personal opinion of what is great to have in your wardrobe. And remember, you do not need a lot of items. You just need ones that you can use multiple ways. Hence the basics and everything. So yeah, I hope this helped you guys out a little bit and let me know if you guys have any questions or want more videos like this. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you get notified every time I post a brand new video. And don't forget to go follow me on all my social media platforms. They're all Presley. Thank you so much for watching. Always remember to stay sweet. See you guys next time. Bye!